The following contains spoilers, so proceed with caution. Move on to the joke. Let's talk about the Joker scene quickly. Uh, this was a scene that Matt Reeves said that he cut out. He cut out a scene with Barry Cohen. 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 I heard someone uh, Irish pronounce it, and now I forget. I'm thinking, I think it's, it's Keegan. Keegan. Bar- Bar- no, it's not. It's Barry Cohen. Barry Cohen. Ke- yeah. Ke- Kean, Kean, Kean. I just know the That's G and the a, H yeah. is like kind of silent. They're silent. Yeah. Okay. They're, yeah. yeah. They're Kean. Like I play so Joker. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> BK. So anyway, he said that that scene BK. was, he said it was, there's, there's a really fun scene that was deleted that we cut the cut out of the movie. And I, and he said that because obviously word got out that that scene was in it. Like we talked about it on this channel a lot and everyone was expecting the scene. And then, to, and then he said it wasn't going to be in there. So I was like, oh, I guess he's saying that so that when it's not in the movie, we don't get upset. And then it was in the movie. And I was like, and this scene, uh, Scott, I'm going to start with you talking about this one. But this scene, it was one of those moments that I was like, you know, when you watch all these movies, like I said on the non spoiler review, that every movie we've gotten has basically been like Joker, Penguin, and then Catwoman. And then, you know, they, but it's usually just one villain and they don't really, there's not much connection to anything. But this one was the Riddler and the Joker together. And the Joker flipped it and said that and gave the Riddler the riddle. And the answer, of course, was a friend. And there was a moment there. And I thought that that, you know, now you have two of the of the upper echelon Batman villains, the psychotic clown and the puzzler. Not really the puzzle, the Riddler, because <laughs> there actually is a puzzler. So I should have watched <laughs> what I said there. <laughs> and he's not the puzzler; it's the Riddler in this one. Um, but that was such—it was an iconic scene. Scotty, what was your takeaway from that scene? Because you—you you, you said earlier, you know, that was one of your your uh, good, bad, and the ugly. One of the bad and the uglies was the Joker a little bit, and you're a huge Joker fan. I've seen your Joker makeup and costume from the 2019 movie. You went all in, and I don't even was that movie even out when you did that. I don't even know if it was. Uh, I like, think tra- I do Joker. a lot of things based on trailers. I do, I do. Uh, actually, it was that was a badass uh, costume. Gonna expose yeah, myself. Yeah, here we go. But, uh, I got this. I got this days after the trailer came out, before that movie even wow. released. Uh, she's like the epitome of Harley Quinn, and I've I've always said that she is yeah. like what Robert Downey Jr. is to Iron Man, that that role was for her, basically. But the the Joker in this, only because they didn't show enough. Like, it was, if they were going to tease it, it should have just been him laughing at the Riddler. You know what I mean? I think that would have had more impact. Um, But maybe they didn't do that because the laugh, to me, I think just needs a little bit more something. Uh, Really cool that he's in Arkham already. And that that's how they're going to introduce him. I'm curious how he, if at all, has had effect on Gotham and got put in there. You know, why is he in there? Does Bruce know who he is? Does any of the other mob members know who he is? Uh, I have a lot of questions about, you know, why he's there. Yeah, definitely, Rob. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I touched on like the Joker part at least uh, a bit myself already. But as like when it comes to you know Matt Reeves lying about you know the the cutscene or whatever, I do still remember of like the the brief picture or set picture or something like that of Barry uh, Kilwin Kilwin uh, on set in the police uniform that they thought he was gonna yeah. be. So I wonder if he's he's lying but not lying at the same time, as in like they they shot this little scene as like a misdirect. And that's the scene that got cut and probably will we'll probably never see. Uh, so I almost if wonder they, if, yeah. They did announce him as Stanley Merkel, an officer Stanley yeah. Merkel, which he's in, he's from, I think, year one comic. Yeah, he was a, he was, I don't, I don't know if, I don't recall if he was on that one exactly, but he was a uh, partner or like uh, of, of uh, Jim yeah. Gordon at, at one point as well. And it was like, if they shot that as a misdirect, then, you know, maybe he's not really lying. He's like, you know, I just cut this fake scene that I never intended to have in the movie. <laughs> no, no, he, really he said, he said between the Riddler, he said between the Riddler and Barry, he actually said between the Riddler and Barry, that's a lot of fun. He yeah. didn't make, there was no bones about it. He was saying, I cut the scene with the Joker because you dickheads on YouTube exposed it. <laughs> and then he didn't because we're dickheads on YouTube. <laughs> Your mic's muted, Scott. What, uh, what if there was a scene that he cut, though? 
Yeah. I mean, maybe. it comes back around. He's like, ha, I told you I wasn't lying. <laughs> yeah, well, he said towards the end of the movie, but then he did also in that he says that there's a scene earlier on with the two. So he's kind of like, who knows? Who knows? Andrew, you like being lied to. I love being lied to. If there's one thing I love more than being lied to, it's the Joker, criminally underused. Um, uh, so here's the thing. He looks pretty cool in terms of what we could see of him. He was very shadowy. He looked like a drawing, like a comic book drawing of the Joker. Like the proportions were inhuman. And I thought that was kind of neat. Um, see, here's the thing. Uh, with the Joker, it's so hard. Like, this is the second time now we have had a Batman reboot where we had a great movie that ends with a tease for the Joker's coming up next. And I'm just at the point where I'm like, I don't know what we can do differently with this guy. Um, like I, I I told you, James, earlier in the week, I think. It's like, imagine if they announced tomorrow, like, it's official. Tom Holland is getting a Spider-Man 4, and the villain's going to be Green Goblin. I'd be like, why? Um, so... With with Joker, the only thing that I think it would be cool and it would fit the world is if they took a certain approach, but I don't even know if they can take it now because we all know it's it's Barry Kean or however you say his name. But be, no, the, the whole point of the Joker is nobody ever really knows his origin story, right? Every, every telling of Joker is a different origin. Sometimes he's Arthur Fleck, sometimes he's Jack Napier, sometimes he's an unnamed thug, whatever. So he's a comedian. Yeah, sometimes he's a comedian. So if if you're going with the same tone of this movie, where it's a detective noir movie, like imagine getting a movie where we, the audience, have no idea who is playing the Joker, but underneath that makeup is one of the main characters in the movie. And it's like a Scooby-Doo reveal at the end. It's like, oh my God, the Joker has been Commissioner Loeb this whole time. That would be a great way to do him because the Joker's origin is always in flux anyway. Um, and it would it would just fit this Batman's tone so much better than just, I'm going to blow up a Ferris wheel. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Now that we know it's Barry, I don't know what they're going to do with him that could possibly, A, fit this world and B, be different than what we've seen before. What I love is the idea that he doesn't have to do any, he doesn't have to be the big big i mean he probably will be but he doesn't have to be the big bad because there's this whole world of gotham now yeah. that he just lives within and gotham i think the the thing with this trilogy is gotham is and court of owls makes sense is gotham is always going to be the villain of this mm -hmm. matt reeves universe I it'll like always be gotham and joker lives within gotham and that's why i think joker makes a lot of sense to be in there because he makes a lot of sense because the riddler makes sense because penguin makes sense catwoman ventriloquist uh, yes. Louis the Lilac, Mad Hatter, they all kite man, <laughs> Egghead, <Play> Professor Pig, <laughs> <laughs> Professor Pig, but they can all like they can just show up and be in there because Gotham is so evil. Gotham is the villain of this story, and, and Batman is the hero of Gotham City. He's not the hero of these villains, he's a hero for the city. And so I think that's what that that'll make the Joker different is that Batman doesn't have to stop the Joker, he has to stop everything around the joker and also the joker is that we do but it's bigger than the joker it'll always be bigger than the joker and that's one thing that that i think that this universe has going for it uh that that's gonna make it appealing make it make it last a long time especially with the hbo shows the penguin show sure it's about penguin catwoman might be about catwoman but gcpd show and the arkham show they're gonna be i think very important more important than we might know in terms of establishing gotham as the villain that it is because Arkham, who knows what deep dark secrets lurk within those halls. Hmm. Who knows yeah. where Bruce Wayne got that venom? Yeah. 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 Could have got it from a certain doctor from like uh, South America or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that might what, be what if uh, something that I don't think they've uh, technically haven't done with Joker. They tried to in some of the older movies, um, but have him be mayor joker king joker have him actually leading the rogues because he is always an agent but maybe this joker is motivated by taking over by literally snuffing everybody out and just being king of gotham or whatever yeah. and that, look if you do 
Sorry, which Ron? would really fit in with Riddler because that's kind of what Riddler was starting to do, trying to do. And th that's why he would be like, Oh, I want to be a friend to you because I kind of have similar ideals. Could be very much make sense. Yeah, absolutely. I think those two working together leave. Oh, there's so much there that it's going to be so much fun. And the more Joker we get, the angrier Andrew's going to get. So I'm all in on it. I'm like, let's just do I just can't wait I to get the text message. Proportions, though. And I agree uh, about the proportions of his head and stuff. There was just something about it, man. It was yeah. off. It was something weird. He's going to be a different. He'll be a different Joker for sure.